Our garage mahal is almost done. You just want to have some glue out. Nickelback kind of day. It's been a while, you know? But there's a hundred other projects to tackle. Tell me if I catch on fire. Okay. We are powering through drywall. Oh, yeah. Installing fixtures. Oh, I already smell it. I farted. Trent! <laughs> and bargaining with Mother Nature. The garage is flooding, but nothing will slow us down. You okay? I might have broke something. Especially as we prepare for a big new project. Face your fears. It's not a fear, it's just like a... Eh, <laughs> it looks like a fear to me. Yeah. What's up guys and good morning. Today we are going to be doing one of my least favorite things in the entire building process. Mm -hmm. We are going to be taping and mudding. Now taping and mudding is basically like sculpting. Like you need to be able to like chisel the David out of a solid piece of marble and <laughs> I cannot do that. But what I can do is make a really sloppy ugly looking mess and then you got to sand it down and try to make it look pretty. We're going to uh, head downstairs and look at my drywall collection because when we did drywall in the house I bought every tool necessary so I still have all of that stuff. We're going to go downstairs dig through all of that, see if we have everything that we need. Brandon's getting some supplies at Home Depot and when he shows up, we are gonna start taping and mudding. Drywall is kind of fun. Like it is actually a little fun. It's just really discouraging. Like it's fun because you get to like fill all the gaps, make it look all nice, sand it, make it look beautiful. The problem is when I do it, it never looks beautiful. So then it's like discouraging because it's just like a letdown after letdown after letdown because you keep trying and keep trying and keep trying and it keeps like not turning out as good as it needs to turn out. And so that can be a little discouraging. I've mentioned this before, we would just like throw plywood up on the walls, but it's not a fire break. Drywall acts as a fire break for the living space that's above, so it's actually part of code. Has to be done. Anytime you have drywall that needs to meet code for a fire break, you have to tape and mud it. And so, we're gonna tape and mud it. We're not gonna make it look beautiful, we're gonna make it look okay. Those are tools that make it really easy to mud seams. Oh yeah! Forgot how cool this thing is. <laughs> I also completely forgot how it works. supposed to be 85 degrees in the valley all week, which means probably like, you know, 70, 75 degrees up here. Warm, still very warm. Warm enough that things are not just melting, but melting fast. We're definitely already scheming ways to redirect water for the future and like stuff that we need to do over the summer uh, to put in either retaining walls or culverts or ditches or trenches to just make sure that water is redirected appropriately so it doesn't affect our structures over the coming years. Um, but so far, like things on our property are pretty good. The garage is flooding, um, but it's just the garage. It's not the house. So I'm okay with that. And we know how we need to fix it once we get the proper machinery to move some dirt around. But, woo, echoey. Speaking of proper machinery, we do have some exciting updates. Nothing's gonna be showing up today, but today after we're done doing some drywall, we are going to look at a machine, which is exciting. <laughs> and then uh, after that, so in the next video, we do have a delivery. We've got mud, we've got tape, we've got corner bead, plastic corner beads, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> That's a common thing with me. Like on Trent's Garage or in Trent Alley, like I know what the things are, I just don't like don't know the names. And so when I start talking, I'm just like blah, 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 blah. We forgive you. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have Brandon start putting on all of the corner bead stuff. I am gonna start over in this corner. Actually, I don't know. Face your fears. Yeah. 
It's not a fear. It's just like a. Eh. <laughs> it looks like a fear to me. Yeah. <laughs> no fear looks like to you. I gotta like set up the pump. I gotta mix the mud. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Receipt machines. And they make all the noises. An adding machine. Yeah. The term you're looking for. Is that what it was called? I think so. You're the one that never remembers what things are called, so I don't trust you. It's very true. There was a reason in the in life to have an adding machine with receipt paper that came out of it that showed you what you were just adding up. What an obsolete piece of equipment. Yeah. That's crazy. Old friend, I'm back again. <laughs> Hopefully this thing is not a giant mess and a big pain in the butt waste of time. If I remember correctly, stick this thing in here. Okay. Screw hold it nice and tight. Okay. Just stick. Mm. She's thick, boy. Oh! You're dripping. I'm not wanting to go in there. This thing is like a very complicated piece of machinery. There's like a way that you release the thing that allows it to be filled. I don't remember how. So I'm trying to look up a quick YouTube video on uh, how to fill this thing up. When in doubt, YouTube it. Every time. How to fill an automatic taper. The dogs have lost their privileges being out here for the day. It is a splattery mess, but it hopefully it will go pretty quickly. And it looks like Trent has figured out how to reuse the bazooka. YouTube for the win. Yeah, there's just like a little bar that you have to flip. Perfect. So that it like uh, doesn't try to spin the mechanism. Look at that. While you're filling it. We're gonna try to make as much progress as we can today while these guys are working on corner bead and taping, seaming stuff, I'm gonna start working on screw holes. We'll see how far we get. Any mud came out of that. Not. Yeah, I'm probably out of mud.
got one and a half-ish to two full walls, fully taped, mudded. Mm, I'd say we're a little bit over a third of the way done with the walls. The ceiling is a different story, but it's going really fast. When the three of us all work together, it's like progress is there, filming isn't there, but at least we're getting a lot of work done. We are switching gears and cleaning things up because Sydney has some new side steps to put on her car and we're gonna help install those really fast. But we need some space to do that. We're gonna see if we can get it off. Uh, her and her boyfriend changed one of the side steps and the other one just had some rusty, like stubborn bolts that they couldn't get off. So we're gonna see if we can get them off for her. So the problem is this side step is either rusted on or the bolts are rusty or there's, it's somehow difficult for it to be removed, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, they couldn't get this side step changed out because these bolts are really rusty and they are really rusty. You want the plasma cutter? Uh, it, it might come to that, yeah. If only we had a lift. <laughs> Makes this a lot easier, huh? Yeah. At least you have a creeper. The problem is that not there's just, just dirt, dirt falling in your face the yeah. whole time. That's like really the... Yeah. We're gonna plasma her. Yeah, we gotta cut this bracket off one way or the other. Just tell me if I catch on fire. Okay. It's a serious statement. Good luck. Fewer things that make me more irritated than the helming. Helming weld it. <laughs> a welding helmet that keeps sliding up. <laughs> Ow! You okay? I think I broke something. It feels all crazy warm and tingly. Ooh. Ow! Oh, that was just so dumb. <laughs> Hunk of junk out of here. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> we got good news and we got bad news. Bad news is that just ripped out of the body because the body's super rusted. Oh. Good news is there is no good news. <laughs> what? Um. We told Sydney we would be helpful, not break it. Out with the old. See if we can do anything with the new. Oh, this really sucks. <laughs> it doesn't suck as much as drywall. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. All right, so you made it happen. There's some. There's some issues. The the body is super rusted and blown out where this actually bolts into the body. Yeah. So it's not super solid. But the good news is these two bolts that are going through the pinch weld, they are basically gonna take most of the weight. I think it's gonna hold. Okay. It'll be all right. I you mean, step on it, see how it feels. Feels pretty good. Okay. It can hold a Trent. Can hold a Sydney. <laughs> so we have finally got Sydney's sidestep fixed. I hope she's super excited about that. I'm glad to have ticked that off the list. And we got pretty, we got pretty far on the drywall. Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna get further. I'm overwhelmed, but I'm excited to get it taken care of. And now we are actually gonna be moving into phase two of the day. We're hitting the road and we're taking you guys on a fun adventure. All right, I just took a quick shower because I was covered in uh, grease and drywall, mud, and all of the things that are nice. And you found your Hulk Hogan glasses. And I found my Hulk Hogan glasses. It's summer, baby. Yeah. It's like supposed to be 80, 85 for the next couple days down in the valley. That's amazing. That is hot. And that means 
most of our snow is probably going to be gone within the next week and there's going to be flooding and mudslides and all kinds of crazy stuff and that's just the life we got to live right now so we are actually heading down right now we are heading to the valley and we are actually going to look at a skid steer Major deviation. It's not Kubota, but it's what's available. We are branching out. We've been looking at used machines, new machines, machines all over the country. There is always a shortage of stuff whenever we are looking to get that thing. Um, but New Holland, a brand that I have never heard of, has some machines that are available. Hopefully it's better than old Holland. <laughs> just kidding, if you're from Holland, I'm just joking. <laughs> is it sandal season? Sure feels like it today. Yeah. You must be Trent. Yeah, nice to meet Who's you. Who's this little guy? This is Leo. Leo? He's shy. <laughs> Can you shake Leo? Shy. Buddy. No. Pound it, yeah. High five? Yeah, there you go. good job. Good. You came in to see some big yellow things, huh? Yeah, I suppose. All right, let's go. We can go out and take a cool. look. thank you. Cool. Dada's gonna drive the tractor, are you ready? Are you watching Dada? How was it to drive? It's pretty cool. Uh, backing it up was a little bit. It's like getting, get, yeah, getting used to like going backwards with the joystick was a little bit tricky, but yeah. I got it. Yeah, Leo approved. Did you like it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> checking out the New Holland skid steer for a while. Um, it's a pretty interesting option. It's a lot cheaper than the other tractors and skid steers we've been looking at, um, but we've heard a lot of mixed reviews about New Holland as a manufacturer, as a brand. Hopefully buying it new, it comes with like a warranty and all these extra like insurances basically um, will, will help. We both feel pretty good about it, but we'll see what happens. Nothing is solidified yet. We ended up going and having dinner with my mom. It's her last night in town. She's leaving tomorrow to go back to DC. And now we're just heading back up the canyon to our house and it's warm and it's a beautiful summery night. There's no snow. Anyway, we're gonna enjoy the drive and we'll see you guys in the morning. Working out the ways that you'll always be right. Like. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good, I brought you some pizza. Oh, I'll take it, I'm starving. We uh, really only got like an hour or two to do some work, so I'm not gonna like load the taping bazooka and get all crazy, but we are gonna install our shop sink. Cool. And then we're gonna do a little bit of taping and mudding, maybe like the corners if we can. Okay. Then we'll probably call it a day. 
You just missed all the rain. It was thunder hailing here, which is the weirdest type of precipitation that I've ever seen. Huh. Whoa, look at this garage. It looks so big. Yeah, this is cool. I think uh, we're preemptively installing this, but I Are just we? would like to have a sink in here. So. I don't think it's that preemptive. Well, we've still got to sand and paint right here and do that and do all this. We're not sanding or painting. It's going to be in the way. Just accept it. <laughs> We're definitely sanding it. It's <laughs> our full set. Whoa. Yeah. So mangled. Huh? No. no. I mean, I just gotta move those angle stops. You just want to be doing this so that you can have some glue out. Nickelback kind of day. It's been, it's been a while, you know. <laughs> That's for darn sure. Who <laughs> built this? Do a smaller thing with primer in there. No. Pretty sure I bought a new primer. Do you need me to open that for you? Oh yeah, you should have loosened it for I me. I tried to loosen it, but it's also don't open it sideways like that unless you want your clothes to be purple. Alright, Brandon. Well if you can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> See what you can do. Oh wait. <laughs> I won't that make that big of a mess because the stuff's been sitting in the igloo. It's so cold in there that instead of being like runny and drippy, it's like actually kind of viscous and thick. Which is good. I like it that. I just splattered it all over myself. This is why we can't have nice things. I know. Did you hear about his golf shirt yesterday? Yeah, he was grease. there. Yeah, yeah, you were there, right? Grease. Did you get it out? Kind of. Still there? Did you wash it? I washed it. And it didn't come out? It's only, it's, it's like a shadow of a I grease stain. I knew we should have used Dawn. She's like, use the Tide pen. Tide pens work well. I'm sure other people run into this too, but Trent has a thing where it doesn't matter what he's wearing, but especially if he's wearing a white or a light colored shirt, the first thing he eats, it will be stained on that shirt. Doesn't matter how careful he is. It's Red amazing. sauce, curry, french fries. All of his white shirts have stains on them. Wow. That's not a slop sink faucet. Right? That's a fancy kitchen That's faucet. That's what I'm saying. No, it's for a slop sink. No, it's not. It's literally, this is a package. I didn't pick this out. That's wild. It looks it just... very fancy. in the corner diagonal. That's our choice. Doesn't it have a nice look to it? No. <laughs> We're in trouble. Throw mm. it Dang it. No bueno? No, we need for like this, for this specific configuration that we have, uh, our P-trap adapter over there, we need a one and a quarter inch P-trap. I want to smell it. Oh, I already smell it. I farted. Trent! <laughs> uh, so this isn't going to work and it's probably, it's a sign that we should just be patient because uh, we need a one and a quarter inch P-trap in order to fit with our P-trap adapter and we have a one and a half and it, just, it doesn't work. So tomorrow we'll have Brandon pick up a one and a quarter inch P-trap on his way in and maybe like, you know, before we go home, we'll just hurry and tape these little sections right here that are above the sink. And then when we install it, we don't have to worry about like mudding and stuff. Above it? Above it. Cool, okay. An hour of mudding a day keeps the doctor away. No, it keeps it. it keeps finishing away, that's for sure. 
Finishing. Finishing. <laughs> Being finished. technique right there. <laughs> We got a bit of a late start today because we all had a bunch of appointments and work and stuff to do this morning. So we've only been able to be out here for about half the day. Um, and we're probably gonna have to end soon because it's actually getting late in the afternoon. I think they're gonna try to do one more little section and maybe this is the way to do drywall. Just a little bit of taping and mudding at a time. You almost leave wanting more. Almost. Not quite, <laughs> almost. <laughs> Okay, I wish all the taping and mudding we had to do was like just this right here, but it's all this. It's halfway done, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, we gotta do Besides the, ceiling, the ceiling, which <laughs> is the biggest section, <laughs> biggest part. But yeah, we basically just have to do a couple seams on this wall, a couple seams on that wall, three more corners, and the ceiling. Cool. And we're done. It's looking good. What is that? A rock? Can you show Dada? Say, Dada, look. Show Dada. Hey, dude. You got a rock? There's so many. There's so many rocks out here. Uh, yeah. Uh. Oh, that's a good one. We just have a great time. Yeah. Are you sitting in the rocks? Yay! Rocks. <laughs> Well guys, we had a great day hanging out on the deck. We got to uh, basically sit out there until it got cold and the mosquitoes started coming out and then we came inside and watched a movie. Now we're getting ready to hit the sack. It is summertime. Building season 
well, I don't want to jinx myself. It feels like it's here. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually here, but it's like about to be here. Yeah. Well, taping and mudding season is here, yeah. and I am not necessarily excited for it, but I will be very happy when it's over. We got like halfway done today. It's really I would good. Say we're like 12% of the way done, but no. there's still a lot left to do. <laughs> but we've got high spirits, and uh, we're also looking at getting a new cool machine for a big project that we have coming up. Yeah, super exciting. If you guys know what the project is, or if you guys have a guess of what the project is, let us know in the comments. I want to see what you guys are thinking. <laughs> Make sure you leave us a big thumbs up on today's video and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. We love you guys. Thank you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.